digital format, in, it can be print-based, and this is applicable for uh, low to high risk, where the learners are not able to attend school, but have someone or the parent who is capable of delivering instruction. So that's actually the homeschool. For the um, learning options on online learning, uh, you can just flash it because I know the next uh, speaker, particularly Marxi, will talk about all this. So Marxi is uh, um, better off actually to be discussing all this. Um, I'm sharing you just, I'm sharing all this because all this form part of our learning delivery if and when you are going to consider using them. So you can just flash it, my dear. And uh, I, we got this from the UNESCO, right? So it's UNESCO that's, um, that, that, that shared this. Okay, so you can just flash it. Okay, next slide, please. You can just show them. I know Mark will be showing them. All right, next slide. All right, so uh, we have so much emphasis about support. And so what we have to support learning delivery? We have a lot, actually. We have our, the, the self-instructional modules that you have developed, uh, that our regions develop. We have the Deaf and Commons. We have the LR portal. We have devices that uh, were already delivered in some selected areas. And I'd like to mention that we've got a very strong support from our very own management, uh, from our very own secretary, um, our beloved secretary, Leonor Magtolis Briones, and the home hall of the Execom. We have strong support also from our um, CEO people, we have strong support from our artists, and um, we have strong support also in capacitating our teachers. We have um, built strong partnership with stakeholders. In fact, um, there's the education forum that uh, we're now working with to develop our learning continuity plan. So we've. We are not alone, actually, in this, in, in 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 facing this new normal. There are a lot, there are a lot around you, ready to be of help. So, next slide. I think um, one of the things that um, we really have to consider and um, give importance is how to respond to, particularly, access to self-instructional materials. Um, actually, the development of these materials is under the Bureau of Learning Delivery, particularly on the teaching learning uh, division under the leadership of uh, Chief Rose Villanesa with uh, Angel Abines as the focal person. And there were, actually, she's working with uh, all the um, specialists in the, in the Bureau. Of course, we are coordinating with the Bureau of Learning Resources. It's the Bureau of Learning Resources that looks into quality assurance. In fact, the materials that you have already um, submitted uh, are now in the hands of the Bureau of Learning uh, Resources for quality assurance. And we're hopeful that tomorrow they will uh, give back to us the quality assured materials so that we can give back to you immediately also uh, for, um, for revision, for enrichment and all. And so, uh, for the for those who are not very familiar of what the self instructional modules that I am talking about, um, we are referring to the ABM modules that are being developed. These are self instructional modules in which uh, they can be accomplished by our school children with no or minimal supervision. That's why uh, when they develop the modules, part of the standard was the, the language used because uh, we really have to consider that should no one be with the child as he gets engaged with these uh, modules, then how would it be, all right? And um, we made sure that the, all the modules are aligned with the curriculum. In fact, we ensured that all learning competencies in the curriculum guide um, actually have um, corresponding module. We have trimmed down. Uh, we now have the most essential uh, learning competencies and so that uh, also decreases the number of modules that um, 
uh, you have to continue developing. And um, I mentioned this already, that the AM modules are quality assured. And um, I also give this appeal, and I've been appealing to the regional directors to please ensure that all the lacking modules are already submitted so that we can uh, submit also to DLR for quality assurance. Uh, these modules, as I have mentioned, can be can be printed, can be utilized without gadgets, so we can have a, a print base. It can be in digital format. And um, as uh, I have uh, mentioned earlier, these uh, ADM modules were actually intended for use by our temporary school leavers. And because of that, there's really a need for all of us to get back to these modules and get to enrich them. We really have to enrich these modules get back to the discussion points, make it more comprehensive, and provide more practice exercises. And as much as possible, the practice exercises that you're trying to provide should be um, also differentiated. Okay, next slide. <coughs> next slide, please. Okay. Um, we have EPV packages. We have uh, open educational resources. We are so glad and we are so blessed that um, Knowledge Channel has uh, shared us their more than 1,000 video lessons. And uh, they now form part in the inventory that the um, Bureau is now doing. And, uh, and the CI, um, because it's all of us uh, doing the inventory and mapping out of these activities. In, uh, in fact, what we need to do, what the specialists are now doing in the, um, the Bureau, is to look into the learning competency where these materials would be aligned so that uh, you'll, there's no need anymore for the teacher to look for what would be a appropriate material for this lesson in the matrix that we will be providing you will be sharing you um, uh, all this will be made available and, and so we also have some open resources online for free in fact just yesterday we had a meeting with the uh, gabay guru of smart and they're also willing to share us their their resources so you just need to open their apps and uh, app and uh, you can always um, avail of all their resources materials of the Simeo Inotech were also provided us and it forms part of our inventory um, so we've got a lot of materials and uh, director Alan um, I, I, I know that you also have your materials um, localized materials you please include them and there, there's a way for you to be here to other regions, please do, um, especially for the materials of uh, uh, the, the PV for our children with disabilities. In fact, before we started, I was with a group of our education program supervisors in charge of SPED, and I appealed that should they have any material available for our deaf, for our blind, uh, they have to be so generous enough to share, because this is the time when we really need to think we really need, uh, we really need to think what is best to offer um, for for everyone. <clears throat> Next slide, please. Okay. So um, the next slide is just going to show us our organizational functions, and I'd like to be so emphatic on our. Um, I, I just would like you to just um, take a look on on this and uh, for our regional offices to take a look on your functions for our division offices and our um, public school district supervisors to take a look at your function and of course our schools our uh, our schools our learning centers our school heads please take a look at um, your responsibility and the next slide is going to show you the specific function of our schools that and just to be emphatic on it that uh, it's actually your accountability, uh, the learning outcomes is your accountability. So take accountability for learning outcomes. So you have to make learning possible. It's your responsibility to implement the curriculum. We provide you the support. You have to provide equitable opportunities for all learners in the community. That's why you really have to be very um you have to decide well on the modalities that you're going to make use because we cannot afford a single child to be left behind. You have to create an environment conducive for teaching and learning and uh, this is the time 
that we really have to provide a lot of uh, services to our psychosocial services to our school children. You're going to lead and manage the school and um, its resources. And so you have to look into what to prioritize for the utilization of your MOOE. Ang pakiusap ko lang po, please consider the reproduction of this printed module, of these modules because our learners need the printed modules. And um, for if, if and when our resources is never enough in our schools, then we really have to get out and establish, continue establishing and managing linkages with our stakeholders. DepEd cannot uh, face the new normal all adult. Next slide. The next slide will just show you, um, just to be emphatic actually, on the um, functions and the roles of our schools. And um, I'd like to end um, with um, this thoughts borrowing from uh, a um, borrowing from Kay Toscano. Uh, will you please um, post the next slide, show the next slide, please? Because I want everyone to reflect on this. Next slide, please, to consider this. Yet this new normal, I borrowed these lines. Yet this new normal, this, that is too much focus on technology tools or online learning, needs to be considered and evaluated. Can we step back for a moment and think about those who will be marginalized and underserved in the new normal? Can we remind ourselves that our digital and telecommunication structure cannot even decently connect every device in the country to the internet? Can we wake up ourselves up to the reality that not all students, parents, and homes have access to devices at home? I'm not saying that we're not going to make use of the digital format. I'm not saying that we're not going to make use of the online learning. We can make use of this, but please let us consider the kids who do not have. Thank you very much, Director. The mission, let me end with this. The mission of all education systems is the same. It is to overcome the learning crisis we were already living and respond to the pandemic we are all facing. The challenge today is to reduce as much as possible the negative impact this pandemic will have on learning and schooling and build on this experience to get back on a path of faster, of faster improvement in learning. As education systems cope with this crisis, they must also be thinking of how they can recover stronger with a renewed sense of responsibility of all stakeholders and with a better understanding and a sense of urgency of the need to close the gap in opportunities and assuring that all children have the same chances for a quality education. We cannot afford someone to be left behind. With that, I say thank you to everybody. Thank you very much, Director Lila. Thank you very much, Director Ariola.